Welcome to Altair Engineering Training and Support. In this video, I am going to show you how to perform analysis on a 2D meshed roll case structure where uh, where you have created the mesh models, the 2D mesh model. So, how to perform the different types of analysis in that? So, we'll, in this video, we are going to discuss how to perform front impact analysis, then side impact analysis bump analysis, rollover analysis, torsional analysis and modal analysis. These six analysis we are going to perform in the same file or you can divide these files in the uh, different folders and then run the analysis. So I will show you both making the model in solving in one file, viewing the results, uh, solving it one time and viewing the six different results or you can again divide it into six different files also. So we'll start our session with opening of the hypermesh. So we'll open the hypermesh. Make sure you select the user profile as radios bulk data because we are going to create uh, <coughs> perform static analysis. So make sure you select radios bulk data format. Click OK to load this bulk data format. At the top, after clicking on the radios bulk data on the top, make sure you have select the appropriate user profile has been loaded as you can see here the radios bulk data format is loaded then click on open folder and browse the file where you have saved the FEM file this is uh, the meshed file So this is my meshed file which I have browsed. You can see the welding and we have divided uh, these weld joints in a separate component. We haven't provided any material properties to it but just we have divided it into different components so that we can later on we can define them. So I will first start with how to define the material properties and then we'll follow the same process. We'll follow the same process as MPCLL. So to define MPCLL where my first is to create material. So here I will name it as say steel. I am using the base material as steel. Define an appropriate color. Select the type as isotropic and card image as mat1. Click on create edit to enter to create edit panel. Then enter the values of E, new and row. Click return. Then Create the material of weld, name it as uh, appropriate material name. Select the type as isotropic, card image as mat1 and click on create edit. Enter the values of weld material. Uh, this time I am changing the weld material properties from steel as we are going to enter the values of 2.5 e to the power 6 and new is I am going to change as 2.8. Density will be somewhere will be same but a little less. So I am changing these values. You have to enter uh, the accurate values of the material which you are using. The weld material which you are using. You have to use that accurate values of E, new and row. Then click return. So you, on the model browser you can see my material and weld. The material as steel and weld has been defined. So now I will assign two different properties. One is roll cage pipes. So in between the pipes I will name it as roll cage pipes. Define a proper color. This time select the type as 2D. Select the card image as P shell. Material as steel. Click on create edit and enter the value of T as thickness 3. T stands for the thickness. Enter this value as 3. Similarly, define the property for weld. So roll cage weld. Give him a different color so that we can easily see on the element color mode here. Select the type same as 2D, card image, P shell. This time change the material to weld. Click on create edit again enter the value as 3. Sometimes people used to change the thickness of the weld material also. 
so during the weld the material pro thickness also changes so we can use 3.2 also a little bit change in the thickness then click return to exit the property collector panel so on the mo model browser you can see my two properties has got created now I will update this component accordingly so go to component select the radio button as update click on the component first select the roll cage mid surface the pipe one toggle down to property to no property to property select the roll cage pipes click update then select the weld again toggle it down and select the property of roll cage weld click update so in this way you have updated these properties so we'll just cross check it by property change the color so the color properties of pipe is same and weld is perfect then by material the element should get a different color material as steel here and weld elements as here so all the properties and components are now been updated so now my next step is to define the load collectors so I will click on load collector icon enter the name as front impact force as I am solving this all the six cases in one single file so I will name it properly so the to lower down my confusion click create and again click on front impact name it as front impact SPC SPC stands for single point constraint you can also name it as constraint and click create keep all the other parameters as, as it is so you can see you have defined front impact force and front impact SPC then we will apply these forces and constraint on our model so select analysis constraint as my constraint is the current load collector so select constraint for the frontal impact we will follow the same process that we are going to constraint this front suspension pickup points on the degree of freedom 2 that we don't want to move these on the upward direction as per your model you can uh, constrain these so uh, for this particular structure I am going to constrain these pickup points so I will off this and constrain all the suspension pickup points the front one so one two three these two and these two and click create so here you can see the constraint has been applied on this model if I on this so here are the frontal constraints now we will constrain the rear end so again I will off this at the rear end we are going to constrain all the three degrees of freedom so we will constrain these again I will off the meshing and also constrain the top one so off this meshing these we are going to constraint click create to apply the constraint so in this way I have constrained this model at degree of freedom 1 2 3 at the rear portion and degree of freedom 1 uh, sorry 2 on the frontal side now I will apply the force so I will make this as current and apply the force at this beam section the front beam section we can use the joints also to apply the forces or only apply the forces at pipe so I will use different models to apply the uh, forces at different location so for frontal impact I will apply only the force at the joints location so to apply the forces at only the joint location you can either you can apply the forces at the half side that is the frontal side or you can apply through the complete side so I will come apply for the complete portion so I will make it in this way click return and then press shift F2 to add the nodes of this roll case structure click add so these nodes are now added on this and off this then I will add the nodes on this side 
so i am going to apply a force on complete front side shift click shift plus left click drag the file window so in this way you can see i have selected all the nodes click add so i have added all the nodes as you can see on the front side where i am going to apply the force then click return of these two meshing go to analysis forces select the all the nodes which you have created so it will show you that 3586 nodes has added so it contains 3586 nodes as you can see once you select don't move the model so it will be highlighted only it will be highlighted so 3586 so let's suppose if i apply a force of 1000 newton you can apply either 3g 2g 4g as per your model or as per your calculation you can apply different forces so let's suppose for this model i am applying a force of 1000 newton or uh, say 3000 newton that is uh, 1g i am going to apply force of 1g so i will show you the calculation for 1g so if we consider weight of the vehicle to be 400 kg then g will be 400 multiplied by 10 which will be 4000 newton so 1g is 4000 newton so if you want to apply 2g that will be 2 multiplied by 4000 that is 8000 newton if you want to apply 3g similar the calculation will be if you want to apply 3g so 3 multiplied by 4000 that is 12000 newton similarly for 4g 5g 6g you have to decide what amount of force you are going to apply on your model so i am going to apply a force of 4000 in frontal impact for this particular model so we divide this 4000 we have to divide total number of force total force you want to apply on this side divided by total number of nodes so 3586 which is where you can see here that is 3586 so this is the force copy this and paste it here so this is the force on each node i am going to apply so this complete frontal end will have a 4 1g newton of force that is 4000 newton of force now we we'll select the direction of forces so for frontal impact my direction of force will be in z axis so i will select from the drop box z axis select the global system and click on create so once you click create you can see a forces has got generated each one is having a value as you can see here 1.12 so the total will be 4000 similarly if you are applying 2g that means 8000 newton of force so divide 8000 by total number of nodes selected there and apply the force on this so once my node is clear so i will clear these nodes you can off this from here so i have applied the forces and constraint on my model for the front impact analysis so i will create a load collector for this so go to analysis load step front impact select the type of analysis as linear static select spc as front impact spc for load as front impact force and click create so in this way you can see on the model browser my front impact load gauge is set so either i can solve this file individually for all the different load cases or i can apply the forces and constraint on this same model and define different load step and run the file uh, once to find all the uh, results of all the types of analysis so i will show you how to do that now again i will click return and 
again go to load collector panel now i will create side impact force give him a red color and side impact spc giving the blue color so i have created these two so my constraint is uh, highlighted so i will create constraint first so go to analysis constraint for side impact members i am taking only the lower suspension pickup points to constrain the model and apply the forces from on this bar so i will again off this select the nodes here you have to make sure you have selected these also so deselect right shift plus right click and deselect these if you on the meshing you can see i have selected only the lower suspension pickup points well constraint for all the three degrees of freedom and click create so they are got constraint so as you can see here now i will right click on the model browser and make the side impact force as current component and go to analysis forces this time i am going to apply the force from this end to this end that is again we am going to apply a udl so i will of this weld again go to shift f2 from my keyboard add the nodes on complete side member will also take the weld so i will pick the weld also so again i will off this welds and select this so i have selected this complete segment on this again and click create so from this end to this end i am going to apply a force again the force will be same that is 4000 newton that is 1g you have to apply as per your model structure as per your calculations so i'll click return of this meshing and weld meshing of these all the two mesh meshing go to analysis forces select the nodes that is 7 to 7 to nodes are there so i will go to 4000 force divided by total number of nodes so force on each node will be 0.55 i will apply this the direction of the force will be in z axis so i will pick as z axis and click create so my forces are now cre get created as the magnitude is very very less so i can increase the magnitude so here you can see the forces has got created if i on the points here you can see at each node the value of force is 0.55 so total on all the calcul calculating all the nodes the total force is coming as 4000 newton so in the same way you have to apply for the your segment uh, sh click shift f2 and clear the nodes once it is get uh once you have applied these forces then go to analysis again load step create side impact as the load step select spc as side impact spc load as side impact force and click create keep all the other parameters as it is of these two now this next one is bump analysis so again i will go to hypermesh go to load collector bump force make it in a red and say create and bump spc give me a view color and say create so as my spc is current so i will first create the constraint for bump analysis i am going to constrain the rear end and apply the force in upward direction and the front end so i will again off this so you will find these all these nodes 
all only these weld joints so i am applying the forces or constraint only in the weld location so here and at the top say create if i on this model you can see i have applied the force at the front end and now we will apply the forces on all the eight suspension front points so first i need to calculate go to analysis forces make bump forces as the current component so forces will move towards that then on select the nodes or go to shift f2 add these nodes select all the nodes so these are the areas where i am going to apply the force click add always make sure that you have selected the correct suspension pickup point so this is the correct one of these two select all the nodes so the total nodes coming as 3432 3, for front impact also oh sorry bump, for bump, bump analysis also i am going to apply the force of 4000 and we'll check what will the analysis so 4000 divided by 3 4 three, 3 2 copy this and paste it here for bump analysis my direction of force will be in y axis and will click create again shift f2 and clear all the nodes so here you can see the forces has got created in all the all the forces has got created in y axis so the total amount of force on the all eight suspension pickup points is 4000 so total nodes divide uh, total force divided by total number of nodes you can apply directly on your model <coughs> then again we'll go to analysis load step this time i will put it as bump analysis spc as bump spc load as bump force click create so my third load step is defined again i will of these two now my next is to define roll over analysis so i will define that roll over case so for roll over analysis i am going to apply the force at this angular position so for that i will first create a local coordinate system to apply the forces at angular direction same the process is same exactly as we have created in the one d structure so we will create the same way first we have to find out the center node or we can create anywhere in between this so if this is a perfect circular so we will create a center node here that is by taking any three arbitrary nodes press f4 from your keyboard go to three nodes click circle center so this is the center of the circle so we have to define x and y points so again f2 this will be shift f2 to add the nodes in x and y plane or to get a perfect nodes select go to shift f4 select this node enter the magnitude as 10 select x is as x click on the node again and say duplicate translate it again select this node click duplicate this time select the axis as y select this single node axis as y and translate it so i have defined a xy plane here so go to 1d systems select the node where you want to create a system the origin will also be the same select x axis as the global x axis and y xy plane select the global and say create 
the system may be small so you can magnify it by changing the size so this is my local coordinate system now I will rotate this system to 45 degree to apply the angular forces so go to to rotate this system go to tools rotate from the drop box select systems pick the system I want to rotate in X axis with an angle of 45 degree the base point will be the same as the origin and select rotate positive again you can on this so this is the system where we can apply a 45 degree angular force with reference to this so again we will create a two different load collectors front first is rollover force create and rollover SPC create again go to analysis constraint as my constraint is the current make sure the, the current the bold one is the current we will apply the forces uh, for all the three degrees of freedom at front and rear end both the ends for rollover for this structure so I am going to apply these constraints on these two lo all these locations as you can see and uh, we will apply the force at this top location for the rollover simulation so I will opt this again make the force as the current one click return to exit the constraint panel analysis forces shift F2 plus delete these nodes which I have created and add the nodes add the new nodes here then move this go to analysis forces select these nodes so there are total 794 nodes for same for rollover also I am going to apply 4000 Newton of force 4000 divided by 794 so the node force per node is coming as 5 so I will apply that this time change to local coordinate system pick this select y axis because if I on this you can see the direction of force which tends to roll over this will be y axis force this direction force and say create so the forces will be in y axis as you can see click return go to analysis load step enter the load step for roll over analysis select SPC as rollover SPC load as rollover force and say create so my fourth load case is created now again press shift F2 and clear all the nodes which we have created now the next is to define torsional analysis So now I will create a different load case for torsional analysis. So for torsional analysis also I will follow the same. Go to load collector. Torsional force. Define a color. Create. And torsional SPC. define a color and create so in this way you have created two two more load collectors go to analysis constraint again for the torsional we are going to constraint the rear end so I will off this 
select these nodes and create a constraint here check it whether the constraints are properly at the proper location or not and for torsional analysis we are going to apply a y direction positive and negative force at one end and the opposite so similarly i will opt this again go and create the nodes shift f2 add the nodes and this end and the other end on this and just cross check it whether the node selection is proper or not yes the node selection is proper so i will off these both so at the one end i am going to apply 4000 downward force or in negative direction up and the other way i am going to apply 4000 uh, newton of force in the positive y direction so make this as torsional force make current go to analysis forces changes to global coordinate system select these nodes so total number of nodes is 1758 go to calculator so 4000 divided by 1758 gives 2.27 so here in this side i am going to apply a positive force again select these nodes the total number of nodes is 1760 go to calculator and 4000 divided by 1760 comes as 2.2 but if this is the negative axis so i will put it negative value and say create again press shift f2 and clear all the nodes once my force is getting applied so here you can see i'll go to mask this load mask and reverse so if i go to forces and just magnify these values so you can see at the one end i have applied all the forces in upward direction another way i have applied the forces in downward direction if i on these forces so you can see here in this way we have applied it now we will create a load step for this so torsional analysis check spc as torsional spc load as torsional force make the type as linear static click create so the fifth load case is ready now i will again of this to now my last load case is to the modal analysis so i'll again go to load collector create modal spc and to define a frequency range i will put it a value of eigrl from no card image enter to card image select the card image as eigrl click on create edit enter the values of v1 v2 and nd enter the value as v1 uh for this particular model i am using the frequency range from 1 to let's suppose 200 and i want to see the first 10 modes and click return again click on return and now i will apply the constraints on all the uh, suspension pick up points eight at the front eight at the rear so go to analysis constraint make model spc as current of these so that it will be easy to pick select these nodes at the front click create and select the suspension pick up points of the rear if i on this just cross check it whether all the suspension pick up points are correct or not so yeah it is correct so go to analysis load step 
for modal analysis select the type as normal modes check the spc for modal spc and method structure as eigrl enter the value as modal analysis and say create so one more load step the sixth one modal analysis has got created now i will save this file name it as complete analysis and click save go to analysis radius of this also go to analysis radius select export option to all run option to analysis memory option to default save the fem file in this location and click on radius so once you click on radius it will start processing it as there are so many load cases so it will take a little time but it will get solved uh, very fast as compared to the six different load case files which you will create in a six different way so you can create either of the way create six different files for different types of analysis or create a one file in which you can perform all the six analysis you can view the results separately also so that i will show you <coughs> or i will show you how to divide this same file into six different analysis so click on save as enter as front impact click save from this end to this end delete these load collectors and this delete this load case also click on save as and save this file for front impact so this is the file for front impact click on new open folder again go to complete analysis open that hm file then delete these front impact forces delete from here to here the side impact forces delete the front impact load collector delete these load collectors and save this file as side impact analysis now again click on open complete analysis open the file now create a bump analysis file so if you want to create six different files so you can modify it simply and run it in a separate way so from here to here delete yes click save as enter as bump analysis and click save so this is the file for bump impact bump analysis again click new complete analysis from front to bump delete these for torsional to eigrl delete these open the load collector front to bump delete for torsional to modal delete so once you create a one single file you can modify it with easily so this is the case of roll over so if you want to run it separately you can run that separately also if you run it in a same file you can run it in a same file the results will be same there is no change in the results so from front impact to roll over 
delete this for the load step delete modal analysis delete for modal analysis delete always save as don't save this file always go to save as option create a new folder as TORSIO torsional analysis save this file similarly again open a new go to complete one open this go to load step from here to here delete all the load collectors and delete all the load step keeping the one only go to save as create a folder for modal analysis save the file so in this way you can see I have created six different files and I also I can run them and view the results so go to analysis radios I will run them also one by one that is the six different files I will run them one by one so this is for radios modal analysis go to analysis radios page will solve for the modal analysis as this run is in progress so it will take some time to solve this as the earlier run is in still in progress because it is solving the six different load cases in one single file so it will take uh, some time to solve so as you can see here it started a different one a new one as you can see here I am performing two runs here one is for the complete file and one one is only for the modal analysis so now as you can see one run is completed here so I will click on results so this is uh, the file where I have done the six analysis in one single file so this run is completed now so I will click on results to open the results in hyperview and close this once my solver is done so I will close this file this is the license message that the license will expire in these many days so here is my resultant roll case structure as you can see this is my resultant roll case structure so I'll go to contour say displacement and apply so my displacement for front impact is coming as I'll go to measures static mean max so maximum displacement is coming as 1.5 mm the forces are very less that's why the displacement is so that much if I change the load case from here on this end you can change the load case type so this is due to the side impact displacement value this is due to the bump analysis the value of displacement this is due to the rollover value of displacement torsional analysis and for if you change the model the mode shape you have to find so that we'll see later on again for front impact we'll go to result click on contour select the result type element stresses select one vices simple and apply so these are the stresses which are coming for the front impact this is due to the side impact this one is due to the bump analysis this one is due to the rollover analysis 
as my voltage structure as you can see this it's very very weak there are no members so that's why the force stresses are coming way high even though the forces are very very less so it may vary on your model so you don't worry about the stress values I have, I have explained the process how to apply that in this video and then uh, after rollover this is due to the torsional analysis so in this way you can just scroll it scroll down now we'll see the analysis of the modules so select again contour eigen modes select this is the first frequency mode second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth and ninth so these are the ten different mode shapes now we will see for the animation go to again contour elemental stress and apply as the deformation is very very less so we will just magnify the deformation so it will be easily visible So this is the deformation due to front impact analysis. If I change it, this is due to the side impact. The deformation or the displacement value is very very high so we will change it to 10. So it is more logical as you can see. Then on the third one it is due to the bump analysis. For this also you can change the deformation. For fourth, this is the rollover, the displacement, if displacement value is very less, you can just magnify it. Or you can just magnify a little more. So this is due to the rollover. Then this one is due to the torsional analysis and these are the due to modal shapes different eigen modes you can see this is the first one due to second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth and tenth. So in this way you can run the same file and capture the different results. So I will show you how to capture them. So if you want to capture the displacement value uh, due to torsional or say let's say for front. If you want to capture the value of displacement due to front. Select the front impact analysis the position where you want to capture the image that if this one is you, you feel the best one. If you want to show this, show otherwise if you want to hide this you can hide this also. Also you can hide from here the system values. Go to capture the dynamic rectangle and create a rectangle from here. Save this file in front impact displacement or you can only pick the graphic area that is front impact displacement 1 also you can save the animation plot for that you can have to view the more animation more time for the more time you can just click on it and increase the number of frames or to view the results more accurately you can just increase the deformation value also so at the end if you want to check what is the deformation so okay this is fine capture that also front impact displacement animation So animation plot will take some time so till that time we will see the values of or uh, the images of displacement as you can see here. This is the displacement plot or uh, the more precise is this one. Also if you don't want this messages to be taken into image 
you on open the hyper view once this process is done you can also off this and only plot the graph with this so this is also possible I will show you the process once the video is converted it will show you the process so from title either here from node you can off this so it will be get opt and you can put it like this so this is the graphic area I will save this as front impact displacement file 2 so here you can see the second from this if you want to cut it down to copy it in Windows 7 you can simply use this end to this end and copy it so this will be you, you can use this anywhere so this is the maximum displacement if you want to show the maximum displacement in image just open the major panel open static maximum minimum results and open the panel here and again you can capture the same results same way just click on this and capture the results front impact displacement 3 from here you can this is the maximum value at this node of displacement so in the same way for anyone for the front impact displacement for front impact stresses also the process is same you have to just click on this for images and if you want to view the video you can also view that video also so this is front impact AVI file so this is the animation plot again you can off the nodes to off this so here you, it shows the deformation I have increased the uh, no, number of frames to very high you can decrease it a little bit low so that it will be more faster so in this way you can capture the images and result file of different load cases so it's your choice if you want to run it in a single file or run a different files so the results will be same there will be no change in the results so you can either have six different h3d files that is the result files or have one h3d files in which all the results are there and you can capture the images also so in this way i have ended this video thank you very much